This is the sixth and final section of chapter one, algebraic expressions, and this section is on rationalizing denominators. Okay, so rationalizing denominators is getting rid of any certainty denominator of a fraction by turning them into integers or whole numbers. This is the method we're going to use. We've got three types. So you could have um, a fraction that looks like this, where in a denominator you've got a single third. To rationalize this, we multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by its denominator. So the square root or, or whatever third is in that uh, denominator. And then when we do that, we'll end up with the square root of the number over a whole number. So there you can see this is an equivalent fraction to this one. You can see that we've ended up now with an integer a whole number in the denominator. Second type, when we have a uh, denominator where it's an integer plus a third. And what we do, we multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by the same integer minus the square root of the third. So you just take this denominator, you reverse the sign. This is what you multiply the top and the bottom by. Now the top will, will have this if, if you've got one at the top, so a minus the square root of b. Then the bottom, now we're multiplying this denominator by this denominator. You may recognize this. This is a difference of two squares. So um, it will become the first thing squared minus the second thing squared. So the first thing squared is a squared. The second thing squared, square root of b squared, is just b. This is the quick way of working out the denominator. You don't have to expand the brackets here. If you have this pattern and you recognize it's the difference of two squares, it's the first thing squared minus the second thing squared. Then the last type, the only difference between this one and the previous one, is that now we have a minus root b in the denominator. In this case, we multiply the top and the bottom by a plus root b at the top and the bottom. So again, we reverse the sign, reversing the negative becomes a positive, and we have something similar on this one. So you'll have a square root b at the top. If that was one, there may be some other stuff there. And then the bottom, again, a difference of two squares. That's what we're multiplying out here. So it'll be the first thing squared minus the second thing squared. And in this case, it'll be a squared minus b. Again, difference of two squares. Example 14. We need to rationalize the denominator of these four fractions. So let's start with the first one, which is a. And what we need to do here, we've got one over square root of three. So to rationalize this, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by square root 3. We've just got a single thing in the denominator. So 1 times root 3 is just root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. So that one is done. We have rationalized denominator. Let's have a look at b, which is 1 over 3 plus root 2. To rationalize this, we'll need to multiply the top and bottom by 3 minus root 2. So we'll do that, 3 minus root 2. Now we'll use the quick way to work out the uh, denominator, we'll do that in a moment, but the numerator is just 1 times by 3 minus root 2, so it's just 3 minus root 2. And the bottom, rather than multiplying this all out, I can see it's going to be the difference of two squares, so it's the first thing squared, which is 9, minus the second thing squared, which is the square root of 2 squared, which is 2. Now, if I did multiply all of this out, I would get the same result. Yeah, and I'll just show it to you here. So if I do 3 times 3, that's 9. Then I'll have minus 3 root 2. Root 2. And then I would have plus 3 root 2. And then minus the square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. Now, can you see what happens? These terms cancel out here. There's 2. And then you're just left with 9 minus 2. So we get the same result. So uh, working this out here, I can see that 9 minus 2 is just going to give me a whole number in the denominator. So I'll have 3 minus root 2 all over 7. And if you want, you could split that up and write that as 3 over 7 minus root 2 over 7. We don't have to. We can just leave it as a single fraction. Right, C, we have 
root 5 plus root 2 over root 5 minus root 2. So to rationalize this, we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 5 plus root 2. Whatever's in the denominator, you reverse the sign. Now, we will have to expand our brackets at the top. Um, at the bottom, we can just use a difference of two squares. So the top, if I work them out, so root 5 times by root 5 is just going to be 5. Then root 5 times by root 2, that will be plus root 5 root 2. And then root 5 times by root 2 again, so plus root 5 root 2. And then I've got root 2 times by root 2, which is just going to be 2. Then the denominator, difference of two squares, so it's the first thing squared, which is 5, minus the second thing squared, which is just going to be 2. So I know I've got 3 in the denominator. Let's simplify the top. So I've got 5 plus 2, which is 7. Now, root 5 times by root 2 is root 10. And I've got root 10 and another root 10 here. So I've got two lots of root 10. So 7 plus 2 root 10. And that is all over 3. So I could split this up if I wanted to, like the previous one. But I'm just going to leave it in this form like this. I like the last answer. And we're on to the last one. D. 1 over 1 minus the square root of 3 all squared. Now, before we rationalize this denominator, we need to square it first and see what it gives us. So that's going to be 1 over 1 minus root 3 times by 1 minus root 3. Let's see what that gives us. That's going to be 1 over. So we have 1 times by 1, which is 1. We have 1 times by negative root 3, so negative root 3. We then have negative root 3 times by 1 again, so minus root 3. And then we have negative root 3 times by negative root 3, which is going to be positive 3. So simply find that bottom part. I've got 1 plus 3, that's 4. And then I've got negative 2 lots of root 3. So now I can rationalize the denominator by multiplying the top and the bottom by 4 plus 2 root 3. So I had to get it in that form first. And then I can rationalize it. OK, I'll put the rest of the working on the next line. Let's see how we go. So I do this down here. So working out the top, but it's just 1 times by that. So that's fine. That's just going to be 4 plus 2. 2 root 3. In the denominator, difference of two squares. So it's the first thing squared, which is 16, minus the second thing squared. So we now need to work out what is 2 root 3 squared. A product to a power, so it's 2 squared times by the square root of 3 squared. So that's going to be 4 times by 3, so it's actually 12. So 2 root 3 squared is 12. So the first thing squared was 16, minus the second thing squared, which is 12. That means that 2 root 3 is the square root of 12. And then we can pretty much finish it off. So we've got 4 plus 2 root 3 at the top, and then 16 minus 12 is 4. Now that can be simplified, because what we can do we can divide the top and the bottom of that fraction by 2. So let's do that and see what happens. So if I divide the top and the bottom by 2, I'll just put that here. I will have 2 plus root 3. So basically like taking out 2 as a factor at the top and the bottom. And then at the bottom, 2. So 2 plus root 3 at the top over 2. That would be my final answer where I've rationalized the denominator. So you should now be able to do exercise 1e 
which is on page 15 of the textbook, then followed by the mixed exercise.